What's up guys, today I have a dribbling video for you and before I tell you the specific routine you can follow, I just wanted to give you a few tips that you should focus on whenever you're practicing dribbling. So first of all, let me just say, yes, I am on pavement. This was part of a video series I was doing about how to train by yourself and a lot of it was with a wall, so I just did the dribbling here, but you can obviously do this on grass or anywhere, even in your own home. So the first thing I want to say, or the first tip I want to give you, is always use both feet. As you can see in this video and all of my videos, I'm always using both feet. A lot of you are complaining that your weak foot isn't strong enough. The truth is you are not using it enough. So whenever you're practicing, always use both feet and eventually you will have two strong feet. Next thing I want you to think about is the speed at which you're doing these drills. Try to do them as quick as possible. If you're just jogging through the cones, you really aren't challenging yourself. You're not making it realistic. You should be getting tired. You should be losing control of the ball at some points. So really keep up the speed. It will benefit you. It will improve your skill, but it will also improve your fitness. Next thing I want you to think about is those small little touches whenever you're moving forward. So it's really important that you always keep the ball really close to you. Just think about Messi, those little touches on his left foot. How many touches does he get in a short period? The ball is always within his control. So don't let the ball get away from you. Finally, the last tip I want you to focus on is getting really low to the ground, bending your knees whenever you change direction. So whether you are beating a defender or you're just going in the opposite direction, focus on getting lower. This will help you be more explosive. And I just wanted to show you this clip because this is what I was doing between each drill. Just a little bit of active rest. So instead of just juggling the ball on the spot, I was juggling the ball through the cones, taking the same pattern as I did with the dribbling drills. Just a little bit of active rest, a little more challenging. So while you're doing this, keep the ball up, but also focus on your breathing and recovery. So here's the workout that I want you guys to do. You'll first do the skip, as you saw, and I'll demonstrate these again. Then you'll do the croquetta, then you'll do the step over, then you'll do the rolls. And just have a little bit of fun with it. Don't feel like you have to do the same thing every time. Be creative with it and do the active juggling rest in between each set. So I'll show you guys the drills again. This is the skip and you'll see the other ones. Enjoy it, have fun with it. Like I said, be creative. Don't feel like you have to do the exact same move every time. Dribbling should be creative because you're never gonna have the same exact situation ever again. It's always different, it's always new, and you need to be able to be creative and get yourself out of new and challenging positions. So have fun with it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share this video with your friends and teammates, and please come back tomorrow because I got another video for you and we're gonna keep on improving. I'll talk to you soon.